So this time we'll try working with some slightly larger numbers. So if I use 100,000 divided by 10 in decimal, then I know I should get 10,000 out. I'll start with my 100,000. Just copied from my number line. And I am going to divide by 10. So I will scroll up. I'll see the 10 is 10, 10 in binary. And I should expect to get 10,000 out at the end. So I will draw some guidelines for myself. I will start by pointing out that I have a 4-bit number here. It's not going to subtract into anything smaller than another 4-bit number, so I don't really need to bother looking at, say, this position or this position or even this one. I can just skip to where I have 4 bits and see which one is larger. In this case, this number is larger than this one, so I can do the subtraction here. So 0 minus 0 is 0. I'll need to borrow here, so 10 minus 1 is 1, and then I have 10 minus 10 is 0. Next, I'll pull down a 0. Now I'm back to a 3-bit number, so a 4-bit number will not go into a 3-bit number. So I'll just write down a 0, pull down the next 0. Now I have 1,000, and I have 1,010 here, so this number is bigger than this one. So I won't be able to do the subtraction again write down a 0, pull down the 1. Now I have a 5-bit number, and I'm trying to subtract a 4-bit number, so I know the 4-bit number will always be smaller than the 5-bit number. So here I know I can do the subtraction. So 1 minus 0 is 1. 0 minus 1, now uh, lots of borrowing to be done here. 10, I'll borrow from that. There's another 10 to borrow. Now I've got something I can work with. So 10 minus 1 is 1, 1 minus 0 is 1, and 1 minus 1 is 0, and 0 minus 0 is 0. So now I'll bring down my next bit, which is a 1. Now I've got a block of all 1s, so this will obviously go into it. So I'll write down a 1 there. Do my subtraction, get 101 out, pull down my next bit, and I have 10, 10, and 10, 10, so those obviously match up with 0. Now I've back to a 0-bit number, so I'm just going to wait until I've got 4 bits again. And now I've pulled down all, in this case I would have pulled down the entire 1010. So now I have a 4-bit number which matches up with the 4-bit number I've got up here. So I can subtract 1010. This, of course, leaves me with 0, so pulling down more zeros won't change anything. And I will just fill out the last 4 bits of zeros. Now I can compare this to my 10,000. I've got 10, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, and 0. So, those of my division match up with what I expect to see here.